Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a quick unboxing on this little box right here, uh, which is the Phenom Transparent Clear Protective Case for um, Apple Watches Series 4 and 5. Um, if you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. Um, this channel is about DIY unboxing reviews, but real world reviews, reviews that um, test the products, not just when you unbox them for the first couple of days, but you know, we actually go back six weeks, six months later in, and we provide a review. So right now this is a quick unboxing, and by the time you watch this video, we would be a couple of weeks or months into the review now. Th these uh, cases have get, gotten a lot of uh, positive and also negative feedback because what happens is they claim that dust gets under the plastic and um, also sweat and water. So the one interesting thing, let's let's get straight to the unboxing. So. When you unbox it, you see it comes into this little, they send the actual wipes for cleaning, I guess so you could clean your watch, or rub off the uh, fingerprints. And nothing special, just a little sealed baggie. That's how you know it's sealed because, and here's the case. Now, there's also some instructions there, so here it is. This is the 44 millimeter. It comes in 44 and 40 millimeters. So here it says how to reduce moisture. I guess they're aware, so they updated their documentation. It says you can try to stuff some paper towels on the bottle, <laughs> they mean bottom, of the watch between the watch and the case to help prevent the sweat. I guess that's why they're giving you this towel. So you could put it on your wrist and then put your watch on and then work out. Hmm. And then it says, but it will definitely help reduce. It says, we can't guarantee that it will prevent all the sweat to get on the watch. Well, what they mean to say get in the watch, but it will definitely help to reduce the sweat that seeps in by approximately 70%. I guess it depends if you're a heavy sweater or not. It says, soap, no water, just a little bit on your finger, smear it around the entire inside of the case. It does not make it dirty or unclear. You could also wipe the dry cloth if it's too much soap. It must be dish soap, a very tiny amount. Keep the moisture out, and you may have to do this a few times a month, but it works. I guess they updated the documentation based on people's um, uh, you know, comments and reviews. So here it is, and uh, when you see this video, it'll be a couple of weeks into the um, actual usage, and I'll report back. Thanks for watching. Okay guys, so fast forward to October 3. Um, I bought this pen, Penom case in May 9. And it's held up well. Um, this is the Penom case for iWatch 4 and 5. It'll probably work with the 6, I, I don't know. But as you can see, it's pretty much uh, been taking abuse. You see the little nick there. And I guess this is paint. I've been wearing it every day. I uh, worked out. The drawback of this is that if you do perspire or sweat a lot, it's gonna seep in and then the touch is gonna be out of whack. So you have to take it off and clean it. So far, it's been um, holding up to what I got it for is to protect the watch itself. Um, it has been it has taken a couple of uh, beating and I'm gonna take it out of the case there's one negative that I don't like about it and a lot of people may be turned off by this but for me since the watch is black it doesn't really matter because it doesn't take away from the brightness of the watch and it doesn't take away from um, the purpose which is to uh, protect the, the, the watch itself and I'm gonna show you what the negative is take off the um when you first put it in it's a little bit difficult to put in but then once you get the, the hang of it now the negative is that if you look at the video in the beginning this case was clear it's crystal clear but if you look at it now i 
don't know if you can see that on the camera. You can see it's not crystal clear. It's kind of got like a little tint to it now. Let me bring it close. But the actual crystal itself, because this is not, this is fully covered, just in case you didn't know, you could see the, the glare there from the clouds. I wanted to do this outside so you could see, uh, but if you look, this doesn't fade as does the outer plastic itself. You could see here it has like a little tinge. So other than that, and other than the fact that water, if water gets in there, it's gonna affect the touchscreen. Other than that, I'd say it's holding up well. And if we bring it close, you're gonna see some some of the scratches there. Some of the scratches right there, see? So it is a good budget um, uh, case. Um, as you can see, the watch has no scratches. Maybe a little disc discoloration here, but that's only because um, that's where all, as you can see, all the all the, the, the garbage and crap kind of seeps into it. But other than that, once you clean this out, it's fine. Um, pretty much, it's protected the watch from a lot of falls and a lot of um, bangs against the wall. So, would I recommend it? Yeah, of course I would. If you have a watch that is a light color, you may notice a difference. In, so if you have a white watch or if you have a color that's bright as this ages and it kind of gets dim or opaque or dingy, whatever you want to call it, it has a tinge to it, you may not um, be able to show the actual watch's color. So... If that's something that you have a problem with, then this may not be for you. They do make these. Um, other brands make them the same color of the watch itself. You know, they come in solid color, not in clear. Um, I like the clear. Like I said, it doesn't affect the look of the watch. The screen itself is clear. It's still legible. The touchscreen works great. Um, so... This is a real, let me see, we, May, June, July, August, September, October. This is a five-month review. And for me, it works. And it does, it, it does the job. I got it, so if I drop it or if I, to prevent it from getting scratch, and it works perfectly. There's only been a few times where water or sweat has gone in there and I've had to take it apart and clean it and it and put it right back in and that's a minor inconvenience. I think that goes without saying from any any uh, of these TPU cases. So hopefully um, this quick review will either convince you or to buy it or to stay away from it. For me, not a showstopper. Like and subscribe. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll leave a link for this in the comments below. Thanks for watching.